big announcement. We are going to do Prove It 2025. The Industry 4 Community Conference put on by 4.0 Solutions and several other sponsors from the industry, which we will announce later. This announcement is to get you to reserve the date. That is, get it on your calendar. Make sure you don't get anything booked during that week. Uh, we're going to do a conference, an Industry 4 Community Conference called Prove It in February 2025. All right, I'm going to quickly run through what Prove It is as a concept. So what is the goal, the mission of Prove It? Over the course of my career, I have been to hundreds and hundreds, if not a thousand conferences over the course of my career. I am rarely impressed. Okay. In the early days, I mean, most of the time conferences, I walk away from a conference going, you know, that wasn't useful or isn't useful for operations in any way, shape or form where manufacturing actually takes place. Most of the time I walk away from a conference thinking I just traveled to a city to watch a bunch of commercials. You know, I, I'd ask technical questions. I'd ask any type of question and there's never anyone at the booth who can answer it. They'll always say, oh, I got to get you with my applications engineer or whatever. It's just a bunch of sales and marketing people doing flashy stuff, doing brand recognition. And it's gotten worse. Conferences are really designed, in my opinion, to trick people into giving a product a try. Okay. Giving a product or a service a try. We're not doing that anymore. The last conference that I was really truly impressed with. Now let me say this: not everyone who go, not every uh, there there have been booths I've looked at where I've been impressed. I, I'll go through and I'll be like, wow, this is this is a valuable session or this is a valuable booth. And I think and I think I understand the application here, right? But that's pretty rare. That's the exception, not the rule at these conferences. That's going to be the rule at this conference. So our goal for Prove It is primarily for end users and OEMs and systems integrators and the whole community, Industry 4 community, is A, education. We're going to be doing education and prove it. And number two, we're going to be doing demonstration of application. And here's the whammy. Every single application from every single vendor will be a requirement, will be on the the same ecosystem. They are going to be producing and consuming. They can either just consume from a unified namespace or they can consume and then produce or publish back into a unified namespace. And all of them will be interoperating with the exact same UNS. Okay. We're going to build it. So our 4.0 solutions will be putting on this conference. We already have a unified namespace that we're going to use. We are going to build it out even further. And everyone is going to use the exact same UNS to do their application demonstration. So let me walk through what Prove It is going to be. So Prove It is going to be a three-day conference held here in Dallas, Texas in February of 2025. We've already received tentative agreements from a couple of very large vendors who are willing to sponsor, work with us, and sponsor the conference, right? So first and foremost, we're on the education front, we're going to be doing a live mastermind session. So members of Mastermind, that session, the session for that month is going to be a live session in Dallas, Texas. We will record it. It will go to IIoT.University, but that session is going to be open to all attendees of the conference. Okay, so we're going to be doing a live mastermind session where I'm going to be teaching for three to four hours, very similar to the way that we do mastermind every single month at IOT.University, except in this case, I'm going to be doing it live and I'm going to be doing it on a whiteboard. <laughs> okay, number two, we're going to have speakers and the speakers are going to be limited to only education, application and case studies. Okay, and the requirements, if you do a case study, that is if, if, if a speaker's presents on a case study, they have to answer two questions, or at least two questions, how long and how much. So how long did it take to put what's on that screen that you're presenting and how much did it cost? So how many man hours? What was the licensing cost? You're going to have to present. If you're going to do a use case study, you are going to have to answer those two questions, how long and how much. For both Mastermind and the speakers, we are going to take questions. So the audience is going to be able to ask any question they want, drill down to the goal is for them to walk away understanding how digital transformation works with N, with X, with Y. Third component, we're going to have an exhibit hall. So very similar to what you see at most conferences that you go to. You, sometimes they call them poster sessions. Sometimes they call them exhibits. But there are, there are going to be rules for the exhibit hall. For example, all vendors who are exhibiting must exhibit an application, must exhibit an application that plugs into our unified namespace. So when I was at IFPAC, speaking at IFPAC earlier this year, that is the largest life sciences conference in the United States. It was in Washington, DC. I walked through the poster session asking the question, how would I connect all this stuff together? And the answer was, who fucking knows? Or maybe you can't. 
when I first talked to Canary Labs, our friends at Canary Labs, Jeff Nepper at CSIA in um, Asheville, North Carolina, one of the very first questions I asked Jeff was, how does Canary plug into my ecosystem? And if you look at Canary Labs Historian, uh, it meets all of our minimum technical requirements, right? So it supports all of our technology we use. It connects to MQTT, it parses Sparkplug B, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it parses OPC, okay? It is edge-driven. It is self-aware. That is, you can, it can see data points that get added into the ecosystem without you having to configure Canary. So if there is a way to connect Canary to your data infrastructure where Canary just starts historizing things as you add them. If I add tags, if I add parameters, if I add properties, they will start historizing. It's self-aware. And then it has to be functional. Okay. So I asked, what, what is the function? Okay. What we're going to be asking vendors to do is to do the exact same stuff that we ask all the vendors when we meet with them privately, like Canary. Thank you, whoever sent me this hoodie. Also, you'll know, I wanna give a shout out to the guys at HiveMQ when they sent me that shirt from Conac last year. This is the Lord of the Things. You guys may have noticed I wore it in a previous video. The goal here is for vendors to demonstrate how their solution interoperates with a unified namespace infrastructure. And in the exhibit hall, you will have to be able to demonstrate that. So you, you will have to be able to plug into an infrastructure. Number four, the actual prove it session. So the vendors, all the vendors will be able to sign up. So vendors include OEMs, they can be cloud providers, they can be software providers, they can be hardware providers, they can be integrators. An integrator could build a solution from this unified namespace and demonstrate what they did. Everybody who signs up for prove it, the vendors who sign up for prove it, so that will be systems integrators, OEMs, cloud providers, analytics providers, you name it, they are going to get a functional specification exactly 16 weeks to the day before the conference. Everyone will be limited to building their solution in 16 weeks or less. Why? Because you're going to be building a proof of concept on a common infrastructure. Exactly what we teach at IoT.University. You're gonna be building a proof of concept and we limit the length of a proof of concept to 12 to 16 weeks. Now, the reason we're giving 16 weeks is because you will be developing this during the holiday period as well. The Thanksgiving and Christmas will fall within from when you get the functional specification to when you come to the show. So you're going to get a functional specification. It'll be high level. We're not going to tell you specific functions. We're going to tell you the rules for the functions you provide. You will decide what to do with the data. You will make the decision. You will decide what to do with the data in the unified namespace to best illustrate your capabilities and your native integration to a unified namespace architecture. The rules will be that during this session, vendors are going to come up one at a time and there'll be a schedule. You are gonna plug in, so that is either I plug in a hardware, I deploy a container, or I establish a connection from my cloud provider or whatever, or I drop in a server, plug it in and turn it on. You're gonna demonstrate that it's edge driven. You're gonna demonstrate that it's self-aware. That is, it is self-aware of the infrastructure it just plugged into and that it's functional. You're gonna demonstrate the function. You are going to answer the question, how much did this cost and how long did it take? So in absolute terms from the moment you got the functional specification to when you were done and the total number of man hours. And then you're going to take questions. You know, we're going to use MQTT. We're going to use an MQTT infrastructure. We will also have OPC UA in our infrastructure. You will, there will be a technical stack that we will be providing, right? This conference is going to take place in Dallas, Texas. A couple of things. We are going to limit the number of vendors, okay? So if you're a system integrator, you're an OEM, software, hardware, if you are a cloud provider, there will be a finite number of people who, vendors who will be allowed to do the prove it session. What we're talking about right now is, you know, do we want to do awards? Do we want to, do we want to just give people a logo that they can slap on their product that says this has been vetted by the industry for community, whatever it is, we're still playing that out. All right. All the things around prove it are designed to educate and to demonstrate application, actual application. And you will have to answer questions. And what I really hope to demonstrate here is how this works, a combination of education and application so that people walk away from the prove it conference, understanding a little better what digital transformation looks like, what, what it actually looks like, what questions to ask, because you're going to hear people asking questions during the session. OK, and that's it. Okay, that, that's it. All right, I hope you're excited. I know I'm fucking excited. This is gonna be a groundbreaking event and I'm super, super stoked, all right?